All right, now let's talk about the plume. Plume is right here. This is plume with GMK DMG. Here's the brass weight. It's extremely heavy, so I gotta watch out for my freaking sprained wrist. The plume is a beautiful looking board. The tolerance is very tight in construction and manufacturing. But how does the sound and feel? The feel is a little bit rough. Front height is way taller than I'm used to. I think with the bump on, it's like 23 millimeters. Uh, the tapping angle is fine. In terms of the sound, I really wanted to love this board. You can hear the space bar there. In the stock form, the plume is designed to be a top mount board. You can burger mount it. The burger mount kind of muffles the sound a bit. The sound is crisper with the top mount. And I've gotten tired of a gasket mount, so I really wanted to love this top mount, right? It's a board entered the group by four. I don't have to hunt it down on the aftermarket. It has a top right blocker, it's a 65%. It has symmetrical blockers for wind keyless. The sound is hollow, face bar especially. Considering this board is a hefty, hefty boy. I don't know why it sounds hollow. So the mods that were done here, we put a bit of tissue paper in the bottom. I really didn't want to foam it. I hate foaming my boards because it muffles the sound a lot. And considering I went to the top mounts of the burger mount to get a crisper sound, I don't want to go backwards by adding foam. And then I tried to electrical tape beneath the space bar to make it sound better. Didn't work. Put, I put shelf liner and electrical tape in the space bar keycap. Helped a little bit. I think it meets expectations, but the space bar, ah, uh, man. This probably ain't it for me, but maybe it's because I didn't build it with the right switches. So the plume here is built with Gateron inks on aluminum. I did try Gateron inks on palm and I really liked the sound, but I didn't know how the space bar sounded because the palm plates, unfortunately, were came from Pinoco. Do not buy palm plates from Pinoco if you're a Gateron ink user. Plates slipped and because of the top mount and the tight tolerances, it ended up causing my keycaps to grind against the case. I had to get rid of the palm plate using aluminum plate here. Uh, Alex is gonna send me a PC plate as a replacement. Great customer service from Alex on the, in that regard. But for the aluminum plate and the inks, it's just ain't hitting right. Maybe you're saying to yourself, Andy, why don't you just use another switch? Well, I love inks, man, okay? That's my preference. For this plume, I think it's a great looking board. The feel, it's a little rough because it's a taller front height. You can get used to it by lifting your wrists up more when you type. The sound is my least favorite part and I'm primarily a sound guy, so it is what it is. You may think differently. A lot of people on stream, when they hear it, they're like, oh, that sounds so good. I don't think it sounds good enough for me to keep it in my collection of two or three keyboards. You may think differently is a hobby of preference. You may love the aesthetic, you may love the heft, and you may love the top right blocker. But for me, I think it's a pass. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.